RT the Mike Morones. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. <laughs> okay, guys. Without further ado, this is my first ever painting being recorded on a cheap webcam. You know, usually when I paint something, I have a reference photo or something I created in Photoshop something that's something to look at and be inspired by and then just go from there <clears throat> but in this case did you know that a crocodile cannot stick out his tongue <laughs> anyways look in this case it was just using my imagination I started to draw a shape and then from there I went to uh, kind of just playing around with the colors and seeing where this was going and eventually I noticed that my art piece was kind of resembling a robot so I was like well, well let's let's do a robot you know and uh, I'll just keep adding to it and trying to make it nicer as I go along the way but when you do an art if you don't have a reference it's all you have is imagination and you know there's no mountains I have no pictures of mountains and pictures of this or anything to kind of like because I'm not a very good drawer but I'm able to make these cool pieces because when you do it for a while I guess it's just your hand gets used to it and you're like okay I know how to make these shapes and how to get around you know so uh, what did the buffalo say when his son went to college the bison <laughs> yeah that's probably <laughs> oh that's <laughs> that's probably the worst joke ever man anyway so yeah you know so th this was the whole concept of my first ever recording video of me doing my paintings and people always ask me you know how can you ever record yourself painting I'm like dude because I just I paint you know I'm like no Picasso, right? I don't have no big New York gallery, you know. I just I like to paint, and it is what it is. I'm not a very I don't think I'm a very good painter, but when I get going and I get inspired by something, it's hard to stop, you know. And then when people compliment you, it's like, well, I must be doing something right, so why not keep going, right? But you know it is what it is when you're doing art you're just playing with colors and shapes and you just keep going from there and hopefully it comes out looking nice. Yeah as you can see here I'm just kind of like creating shadows and I don't know man I just when you start smearing paint around you can start to see shapes you stare at it long enough and then you can just go from there. Did you know that? <laughs> oh man, I wish I, I wish I could remember every joke that I knew. You know, I will sit here and literally tell you guys jokes while you watch this awesome painting of this robot. Well, see, I was trying to give this painting a story, so I was like, I have a robot. I'm creating the scene, but it needs a story. Every art piece needs a story, whether you're trying to send a message subliminally or however the hell you say it, or you're trying to send a me message visually, you know, or you, or you want people to kind of like look at your image and be like, what is he trying to say? And you just keep them guessing for the rest of their lives until their last dying days on earth. They'll be like, what was he trying to make? <laughs> But it is what it is. By now I have an idea of where I'm going. I decided to put a rabbit down there. <clears throat> I figured, you know, we got a robot, old school robot. He came back down to earth. And this robot is like, he wants to be friends with an animal. So there's a, a happy little rabbit in the tunnel underneath him. 
So he's trying to catch the rabbit with the carrot on a stick. <laughs> so I was, the concept of that's where I'm headed with this. Now I'm like, I'll call this painting The Visit. You know, you got a visitor here on earth trying to make friends with an animal. And that's what it's starting to look like. And I still have to figure out the colors that I'm going to use. You can't, you always have to be on point with the colors, man. If, if your colors don't go right well, or they don't go well together, it'll just throw you off. Did you know that two artists, two of my artist friends had an uh, art contest and it ended in the draw? <laughs> Did you know that I'm not very good at telling jokes? <laughs> Anyways, it's been a while now. I was painting for a long time. This painting took me a while, man, because I didn't have no reference. And I did have to kind of peek at a photo of a rabbit just to get the shape of a rabbit down. But I just kept going and I was like, let me just make it like a dark sky with stars in the background and make it pretty interesting. A little robot story, you know, but it's kind of hard. We don't have reference and all you have is imagination. But again, you know, your imagination is very powerful. Very, 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 very powerful. The strongest thing in the world if you know how to use it. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know that fish love sleeping in the riverbed? <laughs> oh my god, I, said, I should buy a joke book so every time I do a painting, I can sit back and try to figure out what the hell was I thinking? What was I going with this? Why am I not a great painter yet? I can sit here and ramble for the next 30 minutes. Did you know that? <laughs> Anyways, guys, this was my video. The visit. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it turned out pretty cool. Maybe one day I'll have this art show and I'll sell them all. But until next time, thanks for watching.